Glad to have you here as my guest tonight. Some of the most influential people in Warmington on sea here tonight, you know. Ah, yes. Oh, yes. The, uh, I say, that's our chairman over there. Is it really? Yes. That's fascinating. Thank you so much, my dear. Very, very, very kind of you. Thank you so much. I say, what a, what a very pretty brooch you've got on. Thank you. It was my granny's. <laughs> was it really? Uh, it's, uh, it seems to match the colouring of your hair so well. Thank you, sir. I'll slip you another one when you finish that. Well, I shall keep you up for that. <laughs> sure, thank you very much indeed. Well, very sweet of you. Well, thank never, you so never mind the waiters. Nice hmm? I'm sorry. I'm pointing out the chairman ah. to you. He's looking over this way. I think I've caught his eye. Ah. Uh, he's, the, uh, he's the managing director of uh, Precision Extrusions, you know. <laughs> is he? Is he really? Yes. Oh, yes. My goodness me. You'd ingratiate yourself there. Yes. Ah, good evening, sir. Evening. May I introduce my chief clerk, Wilson? It's Arthur, isn't it? Yes, that's George. right. Yes. Oh. <clears throat> Good grief. I'm Tony Fairbrother. Oh, we yes. were at school together. Were we really? Yes, we shared a study together for three terms. Did we? Really? Yes. yes, of course, I remember now. How very nice to see you. It's lovely nice after all this time. You. Yes. Good heavens. <laughs> Wilson has been my chief clerk for eight years now. Mm. Uh, Stephen's here. Stephen Seabag. Is he really? Stephen St uh, Seabag? Yeah. Of course, he's uh, Sir Stephen now. Oh, yes, of course he is. Yes, yes, yes. Look, come and see him. He's as bald as a coot. Is he really? <laughs> Poor old man. Grass never grows on a busy street, does it? Uh, excuse us, Mannington. Yeah. Come and sit down. Mannering, <laughs> Yeah, I think I did. I let him off, I think, in the end. Do sit down. Make yourself comfortable. Hello, Bathurst. Golf all right? Good. <laughs> Evening, Captain Manrin. Ah, oh, Jones. How nice to see you here representing the butchers of Warmington on Sea. Yes, and tonight I'm, I'm representing the Athletics Association as well, you know. Are you really? Yeah, Mr. Cutforth, who usually represents them, he's had to go to the Derby and Joan Club. <laughs> You know, that's what I like about these gatherings. Everybody here represents a profession or a craft. Yeah. Evening, Cap. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, why shouldn't I be here? Well, I wasn't aware that under-the-counter dealing was a profession. Nobody's a craft, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if it hadn't been for me, you wouldn't be knocking back that sherry. And those chicken croquettes you're going to have later would have been made of whale meat <laughs> instead of rabbit. <laughs> Hello, Joe. Hello, Governor. How are you? Oh, good evening, Mr. Jones. Good evening, sir. Good oh, evening. Good evening, Colonel. Oh, sorry, Mannering. I didn't see you. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. Well, are you chaps looking forward to the scheme on Saturday? Scheme? What scheme? Oh, I forgot. None of your chaps are taking part, are they? Why aren't we taking part? Yes, Mr. Mannering. How come we've been taken short? Well, it's the training. <laughs> it was the training major's idea, really. He wants to form a sort of home guard commando unit out of the younger, fitter chaps. Oh, yes, I did hear something about it. Yes, he wants a sort of striking force to operate behind the enemy lines. You know, the sort of thing, winkling out petrol dumps, blowing them up and so on. Oh, yeah, that's right. We sent Pikey down to HQ for an interview. Did he get in? No, he couldn't find <laughs> HQ. <laughs> I think the whole thing's a complete farce anyway. We're not commandos and never will be. Well, why not, Mr. Mannering? I can winkle out things as well as them young chaps. I'm a very good winkler, I am. <laughs> no, 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 no. Brains, intelligence and local knowledge, those are our weapons, not muscle and brawn. 
Yes, I must say I do agree with you. I was dead against it. Yeah, but it is a bit of a, an insult to the old chaps, isn't it? I mean, the older campaigners. Yes, I feel very spurned, I do. Take your seats at the table, please, gentlemen. Ah, oh, well, we'd better be going in. Yes. Yeah. I suppose you chaps wouldn't like to take part and prove your point, would you? Yeah. Well, yes, why not? I mean, we're game for anything, aren't we? Oh, we're yeah. very yeah. game, sir. Yes, sir. Well, I'll see if I can get the training major to agree. We'll talk about it after. Yes, indeed. I'm at the top table. I'll see you later. Oh, is that my sherry? Oh, thank you so much. It's very kind of you. It's very thoughtful of this. Thank you so much. I say, Wilson. Wilson. Wilson, Wilson come Thank you so much. Wilson. Most kind of you. Thank you very much. Wilson. Indeed. I'm sorry. Don't <laughs> <laughs> you leave that girl alone? Yes, we are. Happy and free. Happy and free. All good pals and jolly good company. Rolling round the town. Now, our job is to place that bomb uh, either in or as near as we can get it to the OC's office, which is inside this little hut here. Now, uh, the type of bomb we're going to use will be represented by this can. Wait, uh, uh, have you got it? Have you got the bomb? <laughs> yes. Well, show it to them. <laughs> Hold it up. Right, right, right. <laughs> Hey, I've got 150 of those, if anyone wants to buy some. <laughs> now, Sergeant Wilson and I did a recce of this place yesterday, and believe you me, the security here is absolutely first class. These home guard commandos won't get anywhere near it. There's no question about that. It needs brains and intelligence. <laughs> and ingenuity, sir. Ingenuity, that's very useful for getting people into things. Yes, yes, that's quite right. <laughs> that's quite right, June. Yes. Now, a platoon of infantry are on guard at the gate here, and all round the petrol dump is a 12-foot-high barbed wire fence which overhangs at the top, and, in my opinion, is quite unclimbable. Well, we could clean a ladder up against it. That might arouse the suspicion of the guards, don't you think? Might... Not if we dressed up as window cleaners. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't be silly, Frank. I mean, there are no windows in barbed wire, for heaven's oh, sake. Could we not fling it, sir? What? The bomb. Could we not fling it? Yeah, that's a good idea, Taffy. Give it an iron fling. All right. All right. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to make sense of the suggestion. Be quiet, okay. 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 Sure, sure. 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 Pay attention. The distance between the hut and the wire, unfortunately, is 35 yards, Fraser. Ah. Oh. But uh, Corporal Jones did make one or two experiments in throwing, didn't you? Yes, sir, I did, sir. My first attempt, sir, it only went about 12 yards. Yes. So I got hold of it by the handle, and I whirled myself round and round like a whirling dervish, sir. <laughs> they do it in a trance, you know, so they do a lot of whirling in a trance, do whirling dervishes, sir. Anyway, I whirled myself round and round, and I got dizzy, you see, sir. And it's not because I wasn't in a trance, I expect. And then the handle come off. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> well, I, I don't think it would work. Uh, in any case, we're, we're, we're jumping the gun, because we are first to be dumped along this road here, somewhere along this road, as though we were parachutists. Oh, we're going to be wearing parachutes? <laughs> of course we're not wearing parachutes, you stupid boy. What's stupid about that? Parachutists wear parachutes, don't they? Don't be impertinent, Pike. <laughs> <laughs> now, our job is to get across this river, either by means of the bridge or by any other means. The Captain Manor and now, rather anxious not to do any swimming. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Doon, sir. That's what we need, sir. Pontoons, aye, that's what we need, sir. Pontoons! Yes, all right, but unfortunately we haven't got any. Oh, we could use Mr. Fraser's coffins. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to go on being silly, Pike, I shall send you home. <laughs> Why can't we just walk across the bridge? For the very simple reason that both the bridge and the banks of the river are being defended by the Royal West Kent. Good answer. Right. <laughs> bluff, sir, bluff. That's what we've got to use, sir, bluff. We've got to use bluff, bluff. And ingenuity, sir, ingenuity. <laughs> sir, I wouldn't mind dressing up as a nun. <laughs> <laughs> I did it once at a fancy dress ball, and they said that I look awfully holy. <laughs> did they? I think that's a good idea, sir. Young Pike here could be the novice, and Jonesy could be the mother superior. Yes. All right. <laughs> you know, sir, we're always reading in the newspapers about parachutists. Dressing up as nuns, I'm sure they'd see through it straight away. But no, that's where your ingenuity comes in. We could be walking along as a nun crocodile. <laughs> we, could, we could just be going along nonchalant, and those guards would say to themselves, 
They can't possibly be dressed up as artificial nuns, or we would think they was parachutists. <laughs> so they must be real nuns who are ventilating themselves in the air. <laughs> and then they will bless us and let us pass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's very practical. In any case, it isn't easy to get hold of nuns' habits these days. Well, Joey, he could borrow some from the nuns at the orphanage. Yeah, no, it wouldn't be all that easy, you know, Jonesy. I don't do a lot of business with the orphanage. Oh, except for providing the orphans. Except. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, but Frank here has got a suggestion. No. Yes, go on. Tell yes, what is it? No, I don't want to tell you. You're saying being silly. <laughs> no, I won't. Not unless you are being silly. It's about coffins. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you could pretend to be a funeral. We'll let a funeral across the bridge. Yes, they probably would, Pike. Except that that wouldn't be any help to us at all, because they don't have funerals inside petrol dumps. Unless they blow up. <laughs> unless they blow up. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Whatever gets us across that bridge has got to get us into the petrol dump. You know, hang on, ju just hang on just a second now. Now, I've got a shed round about here, which I keep some of my essential supplies in, you see. Now, if we all make our way there, and you keep your trap shut, I might be able to help you. Yes, I think we can rely on our discretion. Yeah, oh, there is another thing, Captain Mannering. Uh, keep your hands to yourself. I mean, I don't want anything nicked. <laughs> Well, I mean, that's the way I got it in the first place. <laughs> no, just, just explain the plan, will you? Nobody's going to touch your property. Yeah, right, now, this is what we do. Here we go along. we are again, happy as can be. All good pals and jolly good company. <coughs> right, in here, when you've got your uniforms on. <laughs> Put your helmet on, Pike. But I can't see with it on, look. <laughs> These are awfully rough, these things, you know, at the back of the neck. I know. Awful. You've been mollycoddled too much. That's your trouble. Yee! That's a fine machine, Joe. How do you come by it, son? Yeah, well, when they were refitting the fire station, I offered them ten quid for it. Well, I'll, be, I'll ask him about it. I'll ask him for it. Excuse me, Captain Manry, sir? Yeah? Could you, could you clear up a technical point, sir? Where do you want these axe and handles dangling, sir? On the left rump or the right rump? <laughs> The left, please. Uh, on the left front, right. right. All on the left front, please. Stand on the left front, please. Right. All right, Jones. Oh, Jones. Left. Hey, <clears throat> Corporal. Yes, right, All right, that's enough. Very good, right, sir. Thank you, sir. Right, now gather round and let's go through the plan once more. Hurry up, Godfrey. Sir, it's these trousers, sir. Don't you be any buttons for my braces. Well, can't you wear a belt? <laughs> I always said trousers hang so much better from braces. Don't you think so? Not a fashion parade, Godfrey. <laughs> Now, at ten minutes past three... Fifteen ten, sir. What do you say? Fifteen ten. Ah, no, no, never mind that. At, 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 at ten minutes past three, we shall all move out. Now, two minutes later, a fire will be started outside the wire to the petrol dump. Yeah, I've taken care of that, sir. I dumped a load of old uh, packing cases and a couple of drums of sump oil just outside the wire. Good. Right. And so that at uh, twelve three... Fifteen twelve, sir. Yeah. At three twelve... Our secret agent will push the barrow of paraffin-soaked hay into the pile and ignite it. The secret agent laid on? Oh, yes, yes. I think it's safe to disclose the identity of our agent now. Oh, yes, yes. Who is it? The verger. The, ver <laughs> the verger? You got out of your mind? No, not at all, sir, no. I thought it was supposed to be Mrs. Pike. Yes, well, she couldn't make up her mind what she was going to wear. <laughs> The verger will get it all wrong. No, no, no. I wrote it all down for him. I gave him a ten bob note. I'm quite sure he'll be all right. Well, be it on your head. As usual. Yes. <laughs> now, this fire <clears throat> will help us to bluff our way across the bridge. And when we reach the scene of the fire, what do you do, Fraser? My party unloads yon ladder, sir, and we set it up near the wire. Right. That's right, sir. And then Pikey, me and the rest of the boys create a hullabaloo around the fire right. with our hoses. Right. Right. Yes, and when... While Joe is under balloon, sir, I shall shinny up the ladder unseen. And I'll have this bomb on the end of this rope, sir. And, and when the hullabaloo is at its highest pitch, I shall sling it onto the roof of the hut 
like, like a linesman swinging, swinging the lead. When I say linesman swinging, swinging the lead, so I don't mean a linesman in a football match, you know. Oh. So I don't mean, when I say swinging the lead, I don't mean a chap who's scoving and not, not you know, helping no, his no, people. No, 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 no. I mean a seafaring linesman, sir. You know, they used to have a little bit of tallow just on the end so they could see what their bottoms were like. <laughs> Did you know that, sir? As a matter of fact, I did, Jones, yeah. Well, I wish you said, man, and go all bothered into telling All right, all right. All right. <laughs> right, everybody to your post. Right, Jeff. Mr. Manry, can I, can I drive the fire engine, please? Please let me drive the fire engine. Don't be ridiculous, Pike. Well, can I ring the bell, then? Oi, I'm ringing the bell. Oh. Get your place, boy. Oh, I can't answer. Someone can give me a hand. Oh. What are you talking about? I need a hand myself. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, how'd you get, Godfrey? Right. Come on. Right. All right. Hold on, buddy, tight one there. Right, off you go. All right, all right. I can manage all right. Thank you very much. Thank you. There we go. Right. Wait a minute, sir. Wait a minute. I'll forgive you a show. Give me a hand. What's the matter? All right, sir. All right. I beg your pardon, sir. I must have asked you a bit too All right, all right, all right. Sorry, sir. I'm very sorry there, sir. All right, sir. Yes, of course I'm all right. Get round in your place. Yes, very good, sir. Very good, sir. Right, sir. All right, there at the back. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you. All right, stand by. Oh, hold on a minute, sir. I'm Hold not it. quite at the ready, sir. Hold on. Oh, come on. Hang on. Can you? The man is come on, Mr. Jones. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Right, come on, Joe. Sir, if I shout one, two, three, you give me a bit of an urge up, will you? Yes, sir? all right. <laughs> give him a hand, Joe. That's all right. One, two, three. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, look. There's a fire extinguisher. A case of fire engine catches yes, fire. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> these, these firemen are very cautious men. Do you yes, know sir. when I was. Oh, get up there. Come on. 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 Oh, of course, I'm all right. What are you standing there for, Pike? Well, I've got down to give you a hand up. Get on to you. your place at once. Don't argue. Honestly, I can't do a thing right. 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 No, 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 no. No, no, no. All right. Right. <laughs> Off we go. Say anything with them boys, no, and make you take them <laughs> The bell. Don't ring the bell till I say go. Go, right, sir. <laughs> Mr. Manry, Mr. Manry, yes. you can't go yet. Why not? The doors are still closed. Oh. <laughs> well, we look at the doors and we're ready to go. I wouldn't start up that engine with those doors closed, sir. No, sir, no, sir, because we might breathe in all the poisonous gases and we'll all get sophisticated. <laughs> Get down and open the door. Yeah, it's different now. You want me to get down and do something? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Hello, here they come again. That's a good thing. It'll divert the guards on the bridge, sir. Yes, yes, that's very true, Fraser. Right, hang on, everybody. Here we go. <laughs> well, sir, you said go, so I ding me dinger. Well, don't ding your dinger until we're actually on the move. Right, sir, right, sir. Right? Right, garage doors are ready open, Mr. Manry. How many more times have I to tell you to get in your place? You told me to get down and open the doors yourself. Don't you. Honestly, I don't know what's matter with you. I do, bro. <laughs> what's the matter? Yes. Why are you wet like that? You scratched me all over with water. Don't be ridiculous. You did. You did. Stop it. Here, look, Sergeant what? Wilson. There's a lever there. Push it forward. It right. throws the pump out. Right. There's a lever there, Wilson. Push it forward. It throws the pump out. That's what I have to do. Well, hurry up, All right. All right. I'll do my best. If I tell you again, I'll leave you behind. And I'll get on. Who can left? <laughs> No, it should. It's the same petrol they put in Spitfires.
That's a lot. If I could find you dumped and his feet wouldn't touch. Pile of packing cases. <laughs> Excuse me, have you noticed a pile of packing cases dumped here? Yeah, he's just driven them away. Were they yours? Oh no, I was just interested in them for a friend. <laughs> Light paper in barrow. Help fire, run to the guardroom and send for fire brigade. Fire! 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 Send for the fire brigade! What for? I put it out! What's your game then? If it comes to that, what's yours? It doesn't say anything about you here. Feel it! I don't see this weapon of Burgess and Bez. It should be over there. Roger, yeah. <laughs> Better check it out, lads. Don't tell him what those old baskets will get up to. Look, sir, the smoke's coming from over there. He's lit the fire in the wrong place. They're stopping us. <laughs> I'll deal with this. I'm just making sure there's no home guards hiding. Don't be ridiculous, there's a fire, can't you see it? Hey, hello. Oh, yeah, oh. What are their hands doing? They ain't it. Drive on, driver. Send for you yet? Get out of the way, <laughs> Mary, what are you doing dressed up as a fireman? We're on a secret mission, so let us through. Oh, no, you don't. That dreaded plane dropped us thicker than his sentries. There's a house on fire around the corner. Come on, drive on. This is it, Mr. Manry. Don't stand there with it, boy. Get it round to the hydrant. Yeah, right. Come up, I <laughs> All set back here, sir. Good. Why aren't you doing something? Here, grab hold of that. Get it over there at the double. Yes, Captain. Captain Manry, I wonder I wonder that. Well done, Godfrey. Hang on up there. <laughs> Wilson? Wilson! Oh, sorry. What do you think you're doing there? Well, I, I, I thought you might ask me to start something, or stop something. <laughs> or something. Well, step by the river. 
Right, sir. <laughs> Come on, Parky, get twiddling. All right, Mr. Gunn. That's right. Oh. <laughs> it's turning, Pete. I'm getting all wet, Mr. Mallory. <laughs> Who's the officer said? Keep twiddling. Oh, They'll all come out in a flourish over there. Come on. I'm the one who's getting wet, not you, innit? Do as you're told. Standing by this end, son. Send the water through, and I'll direct the jet. Rev up, Sergeant. Is there anything happening? There's a lever here somewhere, I think. There's nothing coming through. Tell them to hurry up. Let me see. There's probably some obstruction in the pipe. <laughs> there we are. That's it. Let's go and help. No sign of any foreign body there. Turn the valve on, Fraser! <laughs> to help us get into the petrol dump. Unfortunately, Hitler interfered with our plan, sir. Don't worry, the Home Guard commandos were all caught, and your other plan worked splendidly. Other plan? The training major was actually in the hut waiting to see what happened. You should have seen his face when the parcel arrived on his desk by the 12 o'clock post, and he opened it and found the bomb. <laughs> parcel? Yeah, I posted it yesterday, sir, like Sergeant Wilson said. <laughs> well done, Walker. Uh, he said it was cheating, but I say it proves the point. Brains can very often be drawn. Oh, I'd back my ingenuity against muscle any day. Whoa, we're out. Wilson, let a hand. Walker. Whoa. Can't help it. All right. Hang on. Oh, Wilson, uh, give it a hand. Walker, pal. Out of control. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.